Hi, I'm Warwick from Hotter and Steenbeck, and it's good to be back with you on Saturday mornings. As you might have noticed, we've missed a few Saturday mornings, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about what we've been up to. And I'm also going to cover a couple of the questions that have come up in the meantime that seem to be burning a hole in your souls. So what have we been up to? Well, essentially, it's been new product launches. So we've launched our new Ultra and our new Evolution. If you haven't seen that, then I'd really encourage you to have a look at the links in the description, which will take you to the engineering presentations about what we've tried to do with those airbrushes to make your painting journey and experience and enjoyment go up another level to what they were before. But more importantly, what have we got coming up on the channel? And so one of the things that's always been a bit of a dream of mine to, to bring to the channel is I love the idea of bringing people from different disciplines in airbrushing to come and sit on the same table, talk about what they do, the different techniques that they use, see if their ideas can kind of fertilize each other's creative brains and process, and then get them painting together. And so we've actually started working on that first video. We've got a couple of artists coming in later today to start shooting that actual one. So I'm really looking forward to being able to put that content out to you all in the very, very near future. Um, I think it's just gonna be fantastically informative for all sides of whichever uh, artists we bring in from whatever application. So super, super, super excited about that. And then the other thing, of course, is I just wanna to explain to you what we were trying to do with all of these, let's say, talking videos that we've put out in the last months. So over the years that I've been involved with the Airbrush, I've been to a lot of trade shows, I've taught a lot of people, and I've spoken to thousands and thousands of people about the Airbrush. And I've got a pretty good idea about the common struggles that people have with the tool, the things that they want to learn, the tips and tricks that they need to know that sometimes when you have a little bit more experience, you have. And so what we did is we tried to put all that information out there. And then by reading your comments, gauge the concepts and the tips and the tricks that are most valuable to you. So we've got a really good cross section of that now. And so the next step in the development of the Harder and Steenbeck Airbrush channel is for us to start doing some more demonstrations of the things that you've shown a particular interest in. So the reason why I'd like to touch on that topic is because I just wanna show you that your comments and your feedback on every video that we do really helps us to develop it in a direction that's gonna be useful for you. And what's the goal of the channel? Really the goal of the channel is we want people to enjoy airbrushing more and more and more, unlock more of the creative potential of this wonderful tool, and more than anything else, to be able to do it with ease and enjoyment and a real sense of enjoying the time that you're spending with the paint and with the tool. And then of course, the other thing that we're gonna be releasing to you in the very near future is with all the new product releases that we've done, it's led to a bunch of questions about what fits in with that? Can I use this with that? What's the comparison between this airbrush and that airbrush within our range? And of course, we're gonna be addressing all of those topics as well so that we put you all into a position where not only you're really clear on how you can get the best out of our range, whether you've got an old airbrush and you wanna buy some upgrade parts for it to give it a new lease of life, or if you're looking to invest in one of the new models, how they sit together and how best to pick which one is right for you. So we're really looking forward to clarifying all of that for you and then seeing your feedback on it, and obviously always understanding how we can do a better job in serving you. Before I wrap this video up, the one thing I do wanna address, because we've had a lot of questions about it, is the question of, are the new heads on the new airbrushes compatible with the old airbrushes? As a company, that's what we're always gonna do. So we've got the Harder and Steenbeck head system, which goes across the whole range, and so the heads are always gonna be cross-compatible between old airbrushes, new airbrushes, between different models. So you can put an ultra head on an infinity, an infinity head on an ultra. That's always gonna be the case. So don't worry about any compatibility issues, guys, because we're never gonna abandon that philosophy. And then the other general question that comes up a lot, and I think it's worth just quickly addressing now, is what's the purpose of the ultra, the Evo, the infinity? Now, what we see with um, pretty much every other airbrush brand is they make airbrushes per application. Now we've got a, we've thought long and hard about this particular question, about you know really what is it that you're doing when you use an airbrush? So let's look at a couple of extreme examples. An automotive artist painting a 1957 Chevy. That's a pretty big thing. What is he doing on that 1957 Chevy? He is painting little things on a big thing, right? That's what he's doing. Now we look at a guy who, 
enjoys scale modeling. And let's say he's painting a, I mean, he really likes the hard stuff. So he's doing a 172nd Fokker triplane. So that's an extremely small thing. What's he doing on that Fokker triplane? He's painting little things on a little thing. So really, if we kind of summarize what we do with the airbrush, broadly speaking, we paint little things on things of different sizes. So do you really need a whole bunch of different airbrushes for different applications? I would argue no. You need an airbrush that's got a flexible architecture that offers you the ability to you know, go finer, go broader within the parameters of understanding that with the airbrush you paint little things. But what's far more meaningful, we believe, is to make airbrushes for what stage you as a user, as a painter, are at in your journey of learning how to master the airbrush. And so that's why when you look at the Ultra, you'll see a bunch of features on that which are specifically oriented to teaching you great habits and how you use the trigger, teaching you the control of how far back to pull the trigger, teaching you a simple way of managing needle tip drying so that you can avoid clogging completely. You move up to the Evolution. This is now designed with features in mind for people who've fallen in love with the airbrush. They want to paint for longer and longer. They've learned some really good basic technique. They're looking to develop into more detailed work. They're looking for the ability to paint faster. They've got more experience with the head so we can give them a more open solution to the head that offers other, option, other opportunities as well in terms of how fast you can make your painting process. And the ability to develop your detail painting is there with the evolution while still being super easy to live with. And then of course you go to the infinity, which simply put is just there to give you the highest degree of creative expression possible with the slowest delivery of the finest detail and always to be user friendly. So that's a broad sort of understanding of how our airbrushes fit together as distinct from how I think pretty much every other brand proposes uh, what their airbrushes are to be used for. So can you use an Ultra as an automotive artist? Yes. Can you use an Ultra as a miniature painter? Yes. Could you use an Ultra as a fingernail artist? Yes. Okay, it's not by application. It's for your user stage, what stage you are at in your painting journey. So those are the burning questions that we thought we'd better answer right off the bat before we get into anything else. Um, what I'd really love to ask you guys to do is we're at the stage now with the channel where we're looking to plan out many more demo videos and they do take a bit more planning and preparation. So we really want to make sure that we don't miss the mark on any of those. So please, in the comments on this particular video, I'd really love it if you could just give us all the things that you really, really want to see um, and then we can get to planning and try to make those happen for you. Thanks so much for watching and uh, look forward to seeing you on the next one.